Hey witches, I'm Ad, and welcome back to my channel. I figured I'd do something a little different and react to some witch talk videos. Um, I've never actually seen witch talk. Um, I know it's really cool. Um, a lot of people are really interested in seeing witches on TikTok. And I love that witches are finding new platforms and having people join their um, subscriber base and their covens. So it's really cool. Um, I've heard some good things and I've heard some bad things about witch talk. So yeah, I figured I'd let you guys know my opinion and yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, whether or not you love or hate witch talk. So here we go. I feel like that's me trying to make a TikTok. Oh. <laughs> oh. I already knew that. It's kind of like a video game. She seems fun. That can't be already, can it? <laughs> That's me all the time. Sage. So it seems like these are just like little fun like tidbits about witchcraft and stuff like that, like things that happen and just like jokingly like talking about them instead of having like a straight on like, oh, I'm gonna talk to you about this video. It's just like here, 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 like little like fun like blasts of like things for witchcraft and yeah I think that's kind of cool. I kind of wish there were a game like this actually. Fuck. Shit. Ooh, Harmony Nice's video. Video. Oh, Book. No. Oh, no. Oh. Duh. This is fun. It's like practical everyday witchcraft and you're doing it in a TikTok. That's great. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I really like Persephone, but I'm afraid if I ask her out, she'll say no. Zeus, dude, I don't know what you're stressing about. Persephone would totally go out with you. You just gotta play it cool. Hades, play it cool. Got it. Hades, ten minutes later. Chin <laughs> I swear, I'd be like, nope. <laughs> Me. Did you ask your pendulum? Hold on, I'll ask. <laughs> it says no. What does that mean? <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> Bells and chimes are the best, but this this motherfucker resonates with my soul. You can take anything that you like and make it a part of your craft. For me, that's Fleetwood Mac. Hmm. But how? You gotta tell people how to also, do that. You don't have to buy a whole bunch of expensive crystals to cleanse your space. In fact, two little bucks sell these little bad boys for twelve dollars. Go get you one. But what is it? You gotta tell people. It's like fifty percent about what the meanings are, and mostly about what your intuition says. No one told me that. Most importantly, nobody can tell you how to do your craft. It is one hundred percent based on Always. your intuition and your relationship with your spirit guides. The eight Sabbaths, aka witchy holidays. Now, don't come at me if I say any of them wrong. <laughs> I am southern. I have a southern accent. In bulk, which is February first. This brings purification. This is also the early signs of spring. In Old Irish, in bulk means in the belly. This was the onset of lambing season. This brings the energy of creativity and imagination. This is a good time to refresh in your practice, to purify your intent and reconnect with your god and goddesses. This is a I like this. I mean, it's, it's kind of um, raw, but it's good. Like... I prefer to have a long form video in order to help people understand specifically like everything about different holidays and different um, types of things that you can practice. But if someone's just looking for something like really like off the top of their head, then I think this is pretty decent for just finding a way of understanding certain things. So yeah, I wish people would go more into detail, but I know that these videos are like literally like seconds long. Um, versus YouTube where you can really go in depth. So yeah, it's like a little itty bitty introduction to witchcraft. So if someone's interested enough, then join someone's TikTok or follow or subscribe, like subscribe to this channel too, uh, and they can see what's up. I like it. Perfect time to practice magic of love and prosperity or any type of game. This is also a great time to reflect on the principles of balance. Beltane, which is on May 1st, this is the ancient name of May Day Rite. Originally, this is a fire festival. In traditional Wicca, She's so this adorable. is a fertility festival. This is a great time to connect with a lover around a bonfire. Outdoor rituals. Mm. The Sabbaths, part three. <laughs> it's kind of getting a little... Everything's kind of in one. Give me something more. As we celebrate Halloween, or All Hallows' Eve. This is known as the Ancestors' Night. Ancestors to eat with us. Yule, which is December 21st. Yule. <laughs> Yes, Genesis. <laughs>
meditation. The color hmm. correspondences can help you with meditation. Charge them with a different energy. You can take that crystal Use them and as a charge it with positivity. There's your positivity stone right there, see? Don't be bummed when you find out that your crystal isn't what you, you know, thought it was. You can always repurpose it for something else. Put it in a grid. Make it a protection stone. The possibilities are endless. I'd still rather not have one. Like a fake one. So, you can have clairvoyance. Uh, yes. You raised us to believe in and be nice to entities and energies. Well, yeah, of course. Perfectly okay with rich all going into buildings that have bad energy and messing with spirits. Well, yeah, of course. Crystal summoning spells, all of that is okay. Yeah, absolutely, go for it. So, tarot decks and Ouija boards? <laughs> Yes. This is great because it's one of those things that I always try to do, like buying um, less expensive versions of like witchy things that I can buy. Like, yes, you can buy candles from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. You can buy a mortar and pestle like she's doing and um, jars and things like that. You don't have to go to like expensive witchy stores or expensive stores in general to buy witchy supplies. So I like this. she's so fun so yeah that's uh, witch talk hmm I think that a lot of these witch talks are fun um, a lot of them like poke fun at like witches and people that don't believe in witches and things like that or like just weird things that witches do that other people think are just like weird and like strange or just like funny the memes I really liked um, the ones giving information were a little lacking and I would prefer them to do a more in-depth video on YouTube or something um, just because like you can't really just say like one or two things about a holiday or one or two things about like a crystal you have to go more in depth that's why we read books and do research and things like that so I would prefer for them to create a longer form video for that and I, I understand how people say like oh my god I've been on TikTok for four hours because you literally could just be watching these videos nonstop, um, which is cool, but also like you should you'd probably read a book or something like that on witchcraft rather than just watching these for um, all of your witchy information. Um, I thought they were really fun. The one girl that was like doing all the the deities and like making poking fun about like what she does with them or like what they show up that was fun. Um, in my opinion, I think I would prefer YouTube. Um, but that's just me. I like long form videos giving me information um, about specific things. Like I said, I like reading and <laughs> giving myself the opportunity to find more information. These are kind of like basic beginner like ideas among witchcraft. I do love the fun comedy skits. Um, I wish I could be that funny. So bravo to these witches for being funny and fun and just like having their outlet and having their just this ability to create something from what they do. But yeah, it could give a it could give a little bit of a message to people that don't practice witchcraft that think that it's just that easy to do things or like you learn something about one thing and you think that you know everything. So I would be careful for any beginners that are interested in witch talk and interested in witchcraft like do way more research than a lot of these girls are doing, um, but it's still fun. I don't know, I'm still kind of on the fence about it because that was my first ever viewing of a witchy TikTok. Um, but so far, so okay. I feel like I would have to see a little bit more. Um, if you guys want me to do another reaction video for another witch talk compilation, let me know. Um, I'll link below the compilation that I saw on YouTube. But um, yeah, I can understand why people wouldn't like it just because it doesn't really give you much information on witch track at all. It just like, kind of pokes fun or like, you know, gives you like small tidbits about things rather than giving you a full view on um, what witches do and everything. Um, but I can understand how people like it because it's fun and silly and sometimes you really just want to poke fun on yourself or like what you do um, when people aren't watching. Um, so yeah, I thought it was kind of fun, um, little more in depth needed, but 
so far so okay. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about witch talk in the comments below and I will see you next time.